Um, well, this next resolution has to do with the fact that uh, I think the, the town board is aware that for the last 12 to 18 months, uh, Chris Bile, myself, and Josh and involved, Mary, several of the town officials have been working with the Friends of Webster Trails uh, leadership and an ad hoc green space committee uh, in an effort to try to identify properties that potentially could uh, be bought by the town or donated to the town as land, green space that's kept forever while not developed. You might have remembered that we had a workshop about a year ago. A consultant came in and told us that, uh, hey, I can get you that referendum. It's going to cost the town a quarter million dollars. As we asked some questions on that, uh, it became apparent that the town would have to invest, I'll call it invest, a quarter million dollars to get it to referendum with no guarantee that the citizens would ever vote uh, yes to what was on that referendum. Because uh, that referendum potentially could be, we want to buy one acre of land for a billion dollars. Bit of an exaggeration to make a point. So, we backed off of that, which I think was a good fiscal move, and those three agencies, or the three entities of the town leaders, the ad hoc committee, and Friends of Webster Trails have been doing some of that work, uh, identifying properties, reaching out to the owners, um, and seeing you know what their appetite is right now for uh, selling or donating the town, uh, lands to the town. Within that process, uh, a parcel was identified um, on Harmon Road, approximately 30 acres, that Friends of Webster Trails, Barry Dean, who was involved in this process also, uh, Councilman Emeritus, that is, a, is saw, thought of as a very uh, strategically great property for the town to get to, for connectivity of current trails. And um, the, uh, the attorney who helps the um, Friends of Webster Trails researched and found a $300,000 forestry grant. Um, and Bill, the reason why this has not been in a workshop is that he let us know about this about two weeks ago. And when we, we had already been talking to this owner and they were uh, more about buying it or donating it months from now. But when this grant came up, it kind of escalated the conversation. Um, and now the grant needs to be applied for. The deadline is Wednesday, uh, May 12th. And we have April, basically, April 12th. I'm sorry, April 12th. Wednesday, April 12th, as in six days from now. Um, so the five, seven, ten different items that need to be uh, going to the state of New York, DC, Forestry, whatever, with this grant application um, have been accumulated uh, by us in the last two weeks. An appraisal of the property, uh, uh, a letter of intent from the buyers that shows the state that they are serious about selling the land. How do they find out in this grant application that the town is being, you know, in, in the support of us getting the land and support of it via getting the grant? This resolution. I'm confused about the setting aside of funds piece. The setting aside of funds piece. Well, that's, that's the resolution, so I'm just confused about The um, best way that I can describe that is the grant application is $300,000. The appraisal of the property is $287,000. We uh, have, pardon? The appraisal is $287,000? That is correct. Or is that what was appraised for? It was appraised just last week by a New York State licensed certified appraiser per the grant uh, demand for $287,000. Okay. I misunderstood you. I thought you said the appraisal was $287,000. The, the appraisal I, came I, in. I got it. Yeah, got the appraisal was $287,000. Now, it's really, I'll, it actually, the appraisal is in the packet. It's dated March 31st, 2022. Um, so it was done seven days ago. Um, the setting aside of monies, 
Um, as you may remember, there is a uh, there is a benefactor to the town who just uh, donated. I know you're having a little sidebar conversation there, but this is important. Almost. We have a, a, a very nice woman who uh, donated money to the town for the purpose of buying property, and we've already uh, at a board meeting a couple weeks ago or months ago. Uh, bought five acres for thirty-five thousand dollars with uh, thirty-five thousand of that hundred thousand dollars that was donated. Uh, that benefactor, that donation, uh, she has said that this there's money. The soft cost of this, she's uh, willing to donate more money to have this happen. A lot of that would depend on the delta, as I like to call it. If we apply for the grants and we get awarded $300,000, this is a pretty easy transaction. Because, uh, you know, at the town, taxpayers won't be out one penny crow. Where it's going to become interesting, and I was over at the owner's uh, home today for an hour. They, they don't live in Webster. They have land in Webster, but they live in another town. Uh, they're an older couple, um, and I've been working through their daughter. And their daughter introduced me to him today just to make sure, because you know, wanted to make sure that this was a real thing as they were signing the letter of intent. Um, and I've been very clear to them that if, 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 if we get to a point where the grant comes in at $50,000 and you want $287,000, this may not happen. Because then the town board has to come back and look at that delta that difference between $50,000 on the grant and the $287,000 asking price and say do we want to dish out of our general fund or park fund or whatever $237,000. We are not deciding on that tonight. That will be for another day if indeed the awarded grant comes in lower than $300,000. What well, we are deciding on tonight, because of the time expediency of having to have this in by Wednesday, April 12th, is whether the board is going to do a resolution to support making this application for the grant, of which the attorney for the Friends of Western Trails has done it pro bono, as far as I know. Charlie. Yep. And we will have to when it gets submitted in on targeting Tuesday. I don't want to wait right until Wednesday. So I said we'll have all the pieces together Monday because the town's submitting it. We want to make sure it's representative of what we want to submit it. But he did all the legwork. He did. So does that help explain where we're at? No. You're asking the board to approve $30,000 to set aside based on what I'm reading for next year. So you are, you're committing 30000 Yeah, then you know what? Then we should word that differently. And that's where my question was. I'm sorry, 29969.80. Yeah, well, then that's going to be changed in the resolution. That, that would come from the donator. So we are not setting aside the funds. No. It will come from the... Yep. Uh, uh, Dr. Yes. Okay. Any other questions? No. Can we hear? July. July of 2022 is what the Forestry Commission State has said that they will be uh, letting us know on uh, the grant report. So, I'm thinking, Charlie, because of the robust conversation, which there should be on something like this. Uh, I, think they, I think I'm worried at all, or? No, I don't think, I, I think it's my own comment is that the board was thrown by the word budget. It's right off the bat. Yeah, no, and you know what? Bill, it really is not, it's not a budget. It's right. a great pickup. No, it's not. No. Although, can I just, sorry to confuse this even more. Since the 
the benefactor, the donor who had given money for other projects, is saying that she's going to donate more to this, but has not yet donated that. Is that the reason that we need to set it aside? Because we don't have it from her yet? And that we plan on getting that to cover this? I, I just want to be sure we're doing it. You know what I'm saying? I do. and. Um... I mean, how can it's we... interesting. I mean, I, I don't. I have, I have one additional question. Sure. Why is the town paying ten thousand dollars an acre for the property? We didn't pay that for any other property we purchased. We just spent seven thousand an acre for the last purchase. Bill, it's a great question, and uh, this is for the people that this answer is going to be. What, why? Why are we? It's tied to in a lot of ways same philosophy of, we don't need the state to give $800 million for the bill stadium. That's costing us money. That should be used for people that are hungry or whatever. The reason I use that as an example is, if the state's going to give us a grant bill of $300,000, and a New York State certified appraiser came in and said that this wooded land is $287,000, it's $10,000 an acre, is the town paying $287,000 for this property bill? Is the town paying $10,000 an acre? I'm just saying that if we pay that kind of money, yeah. other people are going to expect the same thing. Other people want to would set a precedent. I mean, uh, you know what? As long as we're into this, when I was out at their home today, I had to educate the daughter and the parents about the fact that their realtor, who's a very respected realtor, who I know in Monroe County said, no, I think that land's worth $16,000 an acre. And I had to educate him, Bill, and I said, you know, you might know I owned a mortgage company for 25 years. And a lot of people don't understand this, is that their realtor, no matter how great a gal or great a guy they are, their estimate of value doesn't hold a candle to a New York State certified licensed appraisers value of that property. That's why the grant didn't ask for your realtor's estimate of $16,000 an acre and 470 grand on this, person, this property. They asked for a New York State certified appraiser because a New York State certified appraiser is going to submit something that's 30 pages long that has comparables and this and that and this and that. Now, I'm going to say it again. Besides having to educate them that on that today, if this award comes in less than three hundred thousand dollars, Bill, that is a tremendous question that this board is going to have to grapple with. Then we are setting a precedent. If there was no grant money here, I'm not a big fan of paying ten thousand dollars an acre. All right, that my question. Because if, if we do go out and do that, when we just bought a property on Phillips Road for about $6,000 an acre, when we just bought the Eckler property for $3,000 an acre, when we just got donated property, call me cheap, but I don't want to set the market at $10,000. Okay. Somebody wants to come in on this thing and say, you paid $10,000 an acre, and we say, well, you know, you're not comparing apples to apples. We got a grant for $300,000. You go get a grant, and we'll consider buying your property for whatever price you say. Without the grant, not going to happen. So the other thing I want to add is that, that to Bill's point, if someone came and said, "Well, you paid that for theirs, why wouldn't you pay it for ours?" There are very specific conditions under this grant of a community forest grant, yes. um, and it has to contain old growth, and it has to be untouched and forested. Um, Forest Parkland, carbon sequestration, preservation of community character tours. So there's a lot to this grant that wouldn't necessarily necessarily apply to a lot of other parcels in town. No. And I really do appreciate the question because this did come to the board. Uh, yeah, you're right. But we've had no workshop on it. It, it came very fast. Chris, would that be a that'd be enough? Um, and I've tried to be straight with all the parties on this one and said, this is all a song and dance until that, that grant until that is awarded. Until the award comes through and you know where you're standing. You know. <clears throat>
There's no negotiated contract for price. So, thank you, sir. How much do you want me to read this, Jerry? <laughs> I, I think maybe just a very brief description of the 28 you just had. And maybe, maybe the first two paragraphs will explain it. I'm going to make a motion. The Webster Town Board to set aside funds for the acquisition of 28. 7-acre parcel on Herman Road, tax ID number 064-01-1-17 for the creation of Community Forest Pending Award of New York State DEC Forest Conservation Grant. Whereas the town of Webster, New York, desires to apply for $299,698 in financial assistance through the 2022 DEC Community Forest Conservation Grant Program a reimbursement grant, and whereas the grant program offers funding for acquisition of land to establish community forest for public benefit. Uh, now there, for if you go, the town of <coughs> town board, the town of Webster approves and endorses the application for the 2022 DEC Community Forest Conservation Grant Program and commits to passing a budget of at least 29,968.80 for the next year to support this project. Uh, on the condition that a donor is reimbursing the town for that $29,969.80. Second. Supervisor Flaherty? Aye. Councilwoman Cataldi? Aye. Councilman Abbott? Aye. Councilman Cahill? Aye. Councilwoman Lynch? Aye. 